You looking for something? A commoner, maybe? There is no camera. I know this looks bad. You're nothing but a common thief. And on top of that, you lied to my face. I'm sorry. It's not like I planned this, you know. The money was just there. What, so you stole it? I guess this is for her, Nikki. I was always going to give it back to him. Sooner than I expected, actually, as it turns out. What does that mean? It means that she wouldn't take it all. She's giving it me back. Is that right? Well, that says more about her than you. Why don't I just tell Jeff that I found the envelope in a bin and that I don't know what happened to the rest of the money? Yeah, because he's really going to believe that. Where's the money now? Back at the flat. Adam, I'm so sorry. You need to go back to the flat, get that money, and bring it here right now. And what are you going to do? I'm going to figure out how to salvage what's left of my business and keep you out of prison. All right, mate, what brings you here? We've had a report from Jeff that his money was stolen whilst he was in this office. Stolen? You mean mislaid? Not according to him, no. Now, I'm sorry, but I'm going to need you to come with me to the station. No, nah, nah, no chance. We're not going anywhere. Not until you show us some kind of proof. Well, in that case, I've got no choice but to arrest you both on suspicion of theft. You what? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. If you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court, anything you do say may be given evidence. OK, as I explained before, we brought you here because of a Mr Jeff Metcalf, who has made an allegation against you and Daniel Osborne concerning some money that he says went missing from your office. What can you tell us? I don't know anything about any missing money. Mr Metcalf is adamant that he left the money at your premises. What can I say? He's wrong. He also alleges that the money was given to an acquaintance of Mr Osborne's. I don't know anything about that. But I'm telling you, Daniel's not the sort of person to steal from anyone. He's no thief. So you're denying you took the money? Like I've said, I was in the office when Mr Metcalf came in, but I didn't notice whether he had an envelope or if he dropped anything. Then can you explain how, earlier today, Mr Metcalf overheard a conversation between you and a woman in which she thanked you for loaning her a substantial amount of money? I mean, if he, if he means Nikki, then she's a friend. And I did see her today, yeah, but I've not lent her any money. I should inform you that if you insist you didn't take the money, then we'll have no option but to keep you and Mr Barlow here until we find out what's going on. And I don't think solicitor being questioned about theft is going to look good for his reputation. So I can ask you again, do you know anything about what happened? <sighs> OK. I did it. I took the money. I wanted to help Nikki. She was in trouble, so I took it. But she's given it me back. Well, some of it, anyway. I see. So do you still have it? Yeah. But Adam didn't take it, OK? He had nothing to do with it. It, it was me. You confess to it, then? Lying little toe rag? Yes, although he was very emphatic that Mr Barlow had no part in it. <laughs> I don't believe that for a minute. Thick as thieves, them two, no pun intended. So tell me, what happens next? Well, that sort of depends if you want to press charges or not. Damn right I do. Fair enough. Although I should inform you that Mr Osborne has offered to return some of the money immediately and pay the rest of it in instalments. Well, he's only doing that because he got caught. No, I want him punished as strongly as the law will allow. I understand. In that case, we'll inform Mr Osborne that you intend to press charges. I want you to throw the book at him. Right, well, we'll be in touch. Hey, you know what? Thinking about it, look, that lad's been through a lot lately. He lost his wife not long ago, so providing I get my money back and an apology, I'm happy to just forget the whole thing. So you don't want to press charges now? Well, he made a mistake. Which of us hasn't he? Very well. We'll let Mr Osborne know. And as I said, we'll be in touch. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. Hey, hello, son. So, Les? Um, keep it to yourself. But Daniel over the road stole some money from me. Quite a lot, as it happens. But I'm not going to press charges, so hopefully you'll just get away with a slap on the wrist. Anyway, how are you? I'm all right. I've got to go to work. Yeah. Yeah, all right, son. I understand. <laughs>